Hey, what's up, users? This is John at muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to go over the audio visualizer widget found at MuseForYouShop.com. So here I'm on the widget page, and I'll just go into previewing the widget. So I'll click on preview, and here we see we have an audio visualizer, and I have uh, the muse for You theme in the background and we have this really cool kind of um, visualizer for the audio. Um, so it can be a lot of fun. I'm actually gonna do something really interesting with this widget or this video tutorial, uh, but we'll let it play for a moment. So we can see we have this really cool audio visualizer and it is a background so you can add pretty much anything over this, uh, this, this uh, audio visualizer widget and you can add any any sound or any mp3 file or audio file you'd like to the audio visualizer and then uh, right up here to the upper left corner we can pause it and it actually pauses the visualizer so I really like this effect and you can change all the colors in this audio visualizer to make it really customizable for your website so I'm gonna click uh, back to shop um, and to get access to the widget we'll just go to museforyeshop.com and here you can click on the pop-up and here you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year by clicking subscribe here uh, or, if, or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal yeah with PayPal um, you can click here to subscribe with PayPal um, if you'd like to purchase the widget individually uh, you can just scroll to the to the widget it's right here it's called audio visualizer um, and I'll click on it and then you can, uh, t yeah, to purchase individually, you can click on add to cart, yeah, to, to purchase individually. Or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. And then over here to the left, we have the widget options, so you can uh, look at those. And uh, to, to add it to your Adobe Muse website, you simply click, hold and drag, or you install the widget and then you drag it onto your Adobe Muse website, and then you style the widget with the widget options. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get right into creating a website. So I have this uh, blank site here and the first thing I'm going to do, once you install the widget, the widget comes in a zip file. So you extract the zip file and then you double click on the .mulip file and it will install the widget into your library panel in Adobe Muse. Um, I have my library panel here. Uh, if you don't see your library panel, you can go to window and then click on library to bring up the library panel. And then I'll scroll down to the audio visualizer widget, which is right here. It's in this folder, and then you just click the drop down, and then you have access to the widget here. So I'll click, hold, and drag, and place onto my Adobe Muse website. <clears throat> so initially, the first thing you'll notice is like this red box, and it's, you'll probably be thinking, you know, what what is this red box? And all this is is kind of the container for the text. Uh, that says loading the audio and I'll show that in a second. So we have this uh, this box here and then if we click on the widget options, here are all the colors. We can customize the, the stars in the background, customize the waveform uh, colors, cu customize the, the bubble colors and uh, just all the colors in the widget you can customize. So then the first thing we want to do is select an audio file. Uh, so right up here it says select an audio file, so I'll click add file. And then here I have the uh, Muse for You theme song, uh, yeah, theme song right here. So I'll double click, and that's basically it. Um, I have all the colors styled here initially, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. And now I'll go to File Preview Page in Browser. And then initially there's like this loading uh, data thing that appears, and um, yeah, and then the uh, the audio visualizer plays. So there we have it, and I can pause it right up here in the upper left hand corner but yeah there's the there's the widget and we've previewed in the browser so you can add anything over the top of this widget and one idea I had was to add the the new responsive side menu widget that I just came out with to add it to this website so I'll go to my library panel and I'll scroll down to the responsive side menu widget which I have right here and I'll click hold and drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website I just created a video tutorial on this uh, uh, yesterday and um, I did want to show it on mobile device at the beginning but I showed it at the end so if you want to see it work on mobile uh, just go to that video and then scroll to the end and I, sh I showcase that uh, menu on mo on my mobile device um, so yeah here's the the widget the responsive side menu widget so I'll go to file preview page in browser and here's the menu 
So we have this really cool menu and we have this audio visualizer in the background. So that's a lot of fun. It can make for a really fun website and this menu is responsive. So you can go like, you know, like this and it's responsive. And then we have the audio visualizer here, which is also responsive um, on different mobile devices uh, because some, <laughs> let me lower it here. Some mobile devices uh, don't always accept audio and some of the formats are different. Um, so it does really work best on desktop, uh, but you can experiment and see if it works well on, on your device. Um, but because it's kind of a, a lot of animation, sometimes mo mobile devices don't do so well with it. But yeah, go ahead. And, I mean, you can experiment and, and check it out uh, for yourself. This, this menu, though, is fully responsive and works great on all devices because um, it responds to the browser width. And then when you get to, um, to like a mobile device width, the menu covers the entire uh, width of the screen. Okay, and uh, yeah, so there's the audio visualizer and I can even write some text over it. So let's say I'll type in uh, Muse for You. So I'll create some text. I'll type in Muse for You, just like this. And I'll center it. I'll use again TS. I got it from uh, pixelbuddha.net. Um, I'll add some spacing there and we'll center it in this text box here. Let me make Muse for you a little bit bigger, like so. And I'll make it white right here. And here, let me change the background so we can see that. And <clears throat> excuse me, I'll center this in the browser. There we go. So now I'll go to File Preview Page and Browser. And that's a little bit too high, but we can mess with the placement and, and get it really, really great. So let me um, pause this here in the background. Or close this here. Okay, so there we have the, the text and I'll just bring it down a little bit. And there we go, now it's centered, looks good. All right, so there we have it. So we can put anything over this. And if we even wanted to add, add anchor points with the menu, um, we can do that really quick. So. I'm just going to create a section down here and I'll just make it any color like this. Let me take off this blue background here or we'll leave it so we can kind of see that text there. All right, so I'll create this section here, copy and paste. Yeah, let's bring this down. And I'm just gonna go through this fairly quickly just to showcase the menu and some more movement in the website with the audio visualizer in the background. And I'll change this color here to, to that uh, green here. All right, so we have that. I know these colors aren't too attractive, but uh, just, trying to get, just gonna showcase um, the menu. So I'll create some anchor points and I'll call this uh, anchor one and I'll create another anchor point and I'll call this anchor two. Then I'll center all this just to make sure it's nice and aligned. And, and let me distribute the spacing, um, just something I like to do there. Just so we get some cohesiveness between the menus and the anchor points, or between the sections and the anchor points. Um, so that looks good. We have some spacing between the anchor points and the different sections, so now, in my widget, um, because I actually have the menu items linked to anchor one and anchor two, uh, these are the initial names. Um, I don't have to change the names here. If you did name the anchor something different, then you'd need to name the anchor. Uh, you would need to change the name of the of the anchor here, and uh, just make sure for anchors that you have the hashtag here for the anchors. Um, so that's it for the menu. Uh, so now now I'll go to file preview page and browser. I'll open the menu. I'll go to menu item one, and we can see it goes to those different sections. So you can really have this nice visual effect for your website, uh, and you can have users navigate easily to those different sections on your website uh, with the responsive side menu. We notice here that the menu isn't on top, so to change that, we'll just click on the menu, arrange, and bring to front. And let me close this here. And now I'll go to file, preview page, and browser. And there we have it. So now the menu will be on top and that looks good. And we could even put the menu on the master page just in case uh, we have multiple pages. And I, for that, I just did um, command X to cut and then I'll go to the master page and paste in place. 
and now the menu is there and we want to make sure that we put the menu on its own layer so that it's on top of all the other elements so we're going to create a new layer layer 2 and I'll place the menu under layer 2 because layer 2 is on top of layer 1 um, it's going to be on top of all the elements because all the elements are initially on layer 1 so again I'll go to file preview page and browser the menu is there it's on top of everything and looks really good and I'll change the text in the menu um, I've already created a, a video on this so I'm not gonna go over it too much I just like playing with it and changing kind of the font in it so um, we'll use this here um, or we'll just say Lotto I'm used to using Lotto there we'll go to plan file preview page and browser and there it is we have the menu and the font has changed in the menu okay and we can rename the menu and all the menu items and you know select the icons that we want here for the the menu items and we can choose up to 12 menu items here for this menu all right and we could even take off this top bar here if we notice there's a top bar and i feel like i'm going over this menu too much but there's so many features in it um, you can click remove top bar then i'll go to plan file preview page and browser and there we don't have that top bar um, it's just the audio visualizer here in the background there we go we have those different sections and you can change the easing to those sections so yeah this is the last thing I'll show with the menu because I didn't want to showcase the audio visualizer uh, but it's just fun to to merge these widgets together and and kind of work with the different options here uh, so scroll to speed I'll say a thousand uh, scroll to offset from anchor we don't need to do that and we don't we don't need to set the offset before or after anchor um, that's only if you wanted to um, have the anchor scroll to a little bit before the anchor a little bit after the anchor and then for the scroll to easing I'll set in to, I'll set it to uh, ease in circ uh, just to see how that looks and we we added one second for the scroll to speed so before it was 500 milliseconds um, and because it's in milliseconds uh, a thousand milliseconds equals one second so I entered in a thousand so it'll take one second to get to the to the anchor points when you click on the menu item so I'll go to file preview page and browser menu item two we can see it's a little bit slower and it has a little bit of a different ease, easing there all right and we need to add some more scroll space here so that it completely scrolls to that second section all right that's a little bit too much scroll space but I'll bring it up and I'll go to file preview page and browser close this let's go to section two and there we go it scrolls to those sections and we can see it has kind of this cool easing to those different sections all right looks good so one last thing i'll show with the audio vis visualizer which uh is what this video is for um here i'm just going to add the top bar again because i like the top bar uh but one last thing i'll show is that if we go into the home page here and we go to the audio vi visualizer widget uh, if we move this down more in the website uh, the, the loading um, text will be lower in the website so I move this box lower and if I go to file preview page and browser we can see that loading is more is lower within the website and you could even pin it to um, to get it exactly to that um, section of the website so it doesn't move um, with the website so if I pin it to the top and I go to file preview page and browser it'll stay fixed there even if the the browser is smaller and uh, it's not really a big thing but if you um, if you wanted it to stay in a fixed position you could with the pin option here in Adobe Muse uh, but I'll just move it lower kind of here underneath the text and um, I'll align it to the center and I'll go to file preview page and browser and there it is quite low and so is the text but yeah this is just design kind of placing it so that it looks good within the website and that looks pretty good there um, and just as an ex extreme example to show you if I move this box up here in the upper left and I go to file preview page and browser we see that loading is in the upper left there and if I pin it to the upper right it'll be more to the right as we can see right there so it's just a matter of you know where this box is is where that loading text will appear and it only appears for a few seconds and then it, it disappears um, because it's just saying that it's loading the audio for the audio visualizer all right and let me unpin it and I'll center it all right and I'll maybe bring this up a little bit 
go to file preview page and browser and there we go I think that's pretty good I could even move it a little bit higher the uh, the text maybe like right there file preview page and browser and perfect there we have the audio visualizer we were using the responsive side menu widget as well and it's just a really fun of, uh, effect it works with any audio um, and you can change all the colors and the stars in the background um, I didn't go into changing the colors because I mean there's so many color colors to change but everything is customizable in the audio visualizer widget and it's just a lot of fun to work with and you can use it as a background for your Adobe Muse website uh, so that's it for this video tutorial um, I'm just gonna lower it here or yeah I'll just lower it or uh, yeah close this here and um, to get access to to the widget you simply go to museforyoushop.com and then you can click on the pop-up here and here you can subscribe to get to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year or if you'd like to use PayPal you can click here to subscribe with PayPal uh, you can also purchase the widget individually by going to the audio visualizer widget right here and here you can click add to cart to purchase individually or again you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Uh, so again, I do this to help you build awesome, awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.